morning, YouTube family. It's finally the day. We're it's heading Christmas to Craft Show Day. Finally Christmas Craft Show Day. We've been preparing over the past couple of weeks. We did as much as we possibly could so that we could hopefully keep our table nice and full for the whole three hours. We're heading about 45 minutes before the show starts so we can just like quickly check over our table, take a few pictures. We put some arms and a few little things on a few things last night for extras and we're gonna go there and then we're there today from 10 to one. So, okay, fingers crossed we do good today. Fingers crossed. Okay, so we're at the show. It was so nice to be able to set up last night. This makes the morning so much smoother. You can get up, get ready, you know, do your thing. And then when you get here, everything's already set up. So we're just putting a little extra tape under some of our decor trees, make sure that they don't tip over and put up our little price sign. And we're gonna walk around and see what some of the other vendors have. And then fingers crossed, we have a great day. If you would like to purchase some of the ornaments that you see here, many of the designs have been put on our AliciaEnglish.com site. Please note that due to Canada Post shipping times, these will not arrive in time for Christmas, but they are a lovely addition to hang around all year round. So as we have done for the past couple of years, we focused on using all scrap wood materials, upcycled materials found here in Nova Scotia, mixed our own paint colors and used our scroll saw to bring a lot of our visions to life. We focused on doing our Gone Coastal for Christmas again this year, since we were very successful two years in a row doing that type of theme. This year we wanted to evolve and add a few more things like hobbies or other things that people would be interested in, including sort of winter wonderlands like snow globes and snowmen, basically anything that was wintry and coastal instead of Christmassy. We didn't really want to focus on Christmas things like Santas or angels and things like that, just focused on our coastal ornaments and then things that would kind of reflect winter. So you can see we did quite a few different things that represent hobbies and animals. And we all four of us worked together to be able to bring a list of ideas we made at the beginning of the season to life and focused on finding all of the supplies in the most randomest of places like furniture pegs and scrap pieces from our buildings and wire and even some uh, you know old dollhouse beads and cookies from the trees on our property acorns and pine cones and all kinds of different things so if you look at all of the items you can see a whole bunch of really interesting embellishments on all of them which i think makes them very one of a kind okay so behind our table we have lots of boats and whales and then we have more of nana's santa gnomes and then we have a whole other tray here with extra ornaments and another whole container of boats. So we have quite a few extras this year because we don't want to sell out in the first few minutes. So hopefully this means that we have enough, but I think it looks really nice. go outside the snow is falling down and every child is having so much fun the snowman is twice the size as me with a smile as quirky as mine we're holding hands to keep each other warm while we stand and watch a choir performing all the christmas songs that we love get yeah, all the christmas songs that we love and in a while we're gonna go inside and drink our chocolate by the fire Cause all I want is to spend this day with you Let me give you a Christmas A moment we'll fill with love and joy mm -mm, So beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe baby with you I don't need any presents As long as I spend this day with you Kissing on a mistletoe's baby with you Ooh. We're making plans for what we're gonna do I feel so blessed that I can be with you Cause God knows that I've been longing for you I just wanna hold you close You know the stars are shining just for you Let's take a walk and we can follow the moon Let's till we reach a place we can stay Maybe kiss a bit and dream away And in a while we're gonna go inside And drink our chocolate by the fire Cause all I want is to spend this day with you Let me give you a Christmas A moment we'll fill with love and joy mm -mm, So beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe's baby with you
why we're gonna go inside and drink our chocolate by the fire. Cause all I want is to spend this day with you. Let me give you a Christmas moment we'll fill with love and joy. Love and so beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe, baby, with you. I spend this day with you. With you. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful kissing on a mistletoe, baby, with you. The boys are so excited. They're already into the snacks behind and drinks, but we are all ready. <laughs> Okay, so it is about 11.30. Traffic has been really good this year. I'm not sure if it's been quite as busy as last year, but it's definitely been busy. So we've been doing quite a few sales this morning. Nana's gnomes are a hit. We've sold out of a couple of the things that we've already made. And it's good for us to see like what's been really popular today so that we know what to make extra of if we're sold out of certain things for our market next weekend on Saturday, because this is just one of the two markets that we have. Dayton is coloring in his Pokemon coloring book right now. And Chase and I were just getting a quick drink doing a lot of talking and smiling. <laughs> Our cheeks are hurting from smiling today, but we're having a great time. So we'll update you again in a little while. Our bin of extras is dwindling down. And this is what we have on the table now. We've been trying to keep it as full as possible. So we're gonna do just a quick little tidy before we kind of get the next after lunch rush. Hopefully we get that. We've sold all of our crabs. Dayton designed some crabs and they have been a hit. They, they, all they've been going instantly basically instantly and our melted snowmen were gone in about two seconds we have a few others that have been really popular so we know we have some making to do this week before our next show so we've been going around to help support some of the other artisans that are here today i snuck and put a couple crocheted items away for the boys for christmas and just getting some crochet or knitted dish claws and a bunch of other things Hi YouTube family! Okay, so today was an absolutely amazing day. I'm sitting now in front of our wood stove and I'm right beside our Christmas tree that we picked up that we have not decorated yet. We're currently having an insane windstorm. So if you hear some rattling behind me, it is really stormy out tonight. So we had the most amazing day at the craft show today. We sold so many ornaments. I think we sold over a couple hundred ornaments in three hours. And our goal this year was to not sell out, which seems very counterproductive to going to a Christmas market that you want to sell as much as possible. But we wanted to make sure that we had enough ornaments to be part of the show for the full three hours. And so we created so many ornaments over the past couple of months, preparing not only to be able to offer some of our ornaments on our website, aliciaenglish.com, which are live now, but also to be able to have enough to participate in this local show and not have only ornaments on our table for 30 or 40 minutes, like what happened to us the last two years, but also have enough inventory that we can go to a second local show that we have next weekend on Saturday. So I'm sure a lot of you are eager to hear how our show went. So as you know, because we've been talking about it over the past couple of weeks, we again challenged ourselves to use nothing but scraps and loose parts and upcycled materials to create all of our inventory. And for everything we've created for both of our craft shows, including the $10 that it costs to go to each of the actual vendor sites, we have spent a little less than $80 in total to make the inventory for everything. And we've come home with plenty of ornaments to be able to take to our show on Saturday, but we do have a few that we completely sold out on that we know we wanna at least have a small handful of. So we'll be doing a bit of creating this week to get ready for that. But we were so happy with how things went. We had so much amazing feedback about how our ornaments looked and how much time and love and care was put into everything. And it was so lovely to be able to speak to everyone that came to the show and explain how we had all together, the boys and I, you know, did not only designed and gathered our materials together, but spent all of our evenings and weekends and spare time putting all of these together and, you know, how all three of us had our hands in making all of the items. And Philip did so much help for us to be able to get prepared, helped us with some cutting, 
you know, gathering our supplies, sat with us for hours while we put things together and helped in absolutely every possible way that he could cheering us on. And we just had so much fun. So we are so happy we were able to keep our one Christmas craft market, you know, together over the Christmas holiday tradition alive again this year. And again, doing two shows this year is very different for us. So there's a few things we'll talk about this week with you that we learned at this show that we'll take to even improve for our next one and things that we took out of this show that were different for us than the last couple of years. And what are our plans for next year? Because we're going to do a complete 360 on what we're doing for items to take to the show for next year, which I'll talk to you and share with you as well. So just some takeaways from this market. We've learned that there's some things that we're going to do a little bit differently next year. So we had, I think there was about half as much traffic this year in the actual full audience of the show. We had, there were a lot of families walking around, but I think that last year was absolutely the most insane busy craft show we've ever been in. And we easily sold twice as many items in that three hours as last year because there was the traffic to support it. So this year, even though we did so many sales, we noticed that there was moments in the show where we had a moment to breathe and, you know, look around and even, you know, pop off to the restroom or grab a drink or something where last year we definitely could not do that. We barely could, you know, take a breath in between each person coming and talking at our table. So we did notice it was a lot slower this year, but there are also quite a few other local shows around this area that are happening this year that didn't happen last year. So I think some of the people that would normally come to it are dispersed amongst a bunch of different shows and are on different dates. So we'll see how busy our Saturday one is it's in an actual like busier area in this local community. The one we were at today was like, it's really tucked back in and it's kind of in the middle of nowhere, but we did exceptionally well. And we're so proud of everything. And it was so fun to see the boys, you know, stand so proudly at our table. And now that they're older, talking to all of the guests and many of our YouTube family members in Nova Scotia drove hours and hours and hours to come out and see us and just, you know, pick up one of our ornaments and say hello. So if you're one of those people, then thank you so much. We literally came home with like sore cheeks. We were just smiling and just excited and happy to be there the entire day. So I just want to thank everyone for cheering us on. It's so fun for us to show you all these things that we're working on. And I think you'll be surprised at the end of, you know, next show, what we kind of show you we're left with, uh, because really our, our um, designs we've done were so popular this year. And because you use upcycled materials, it's hard to be able to gather enough to make so many multiples of things. And so some of the things we had just a few supplies, and of course, those are always the first things to go. Um, so our melted snowmen, which were actually inspired and made from something that one of our YouTube family members sent us in a mystery box. They were the first things to go off our table and Dayton had designed some crabs from scrap wood. Those sold right away. So we did sell out of quite a few of our designs and it was fun to just always interesting for us to see which things go first. So that was really fun. But I have now put some of the designs that we took to the show on aliciaenglish.com. So if you're interested in buying one of those, but I just want to mention something. If you are going to go on, please know that those will not arrive again, not arrive before the holidays. Canada Post Shipping is an incredibly slow process this time of year. And since they're not Christmassy ornaments and they're just sort of like decor ornaments, you can hang up anytime. We thought we would still offer a few. So just please know that if you're buying them for gifts or even to put on your own tree this Christmas, they will not show up in time. It's also written on the site, um, but they will ship out before the new year and then you'll be able to add them to your tree next year if you'd like to get some. So again, thank you so much for cheering us on. We had an incredibly exciting day as well today. We were able to pick up our Christmas tree because we've been delayed getting that up, getting ready for the craft shows and we're gonna decorate that tomorrow night with the boys. And all of our things for our bathrooms showed up over the past couple days while we were getting ready for the show. So we're so excited to dive right back into the bathroom. So you'll get to see us working on that all week this week. So that's pretty exciting. Okay, well, before I lose power in this terrible storm tonight, I'm going to sign off right here and say thank you again. I love all of you so much. Thank you for always cheering on my boys and I. And we just love every single one of you. So I hope you're having a great day. And we will see you on tomorrow's episode.